So have you had a vacation recently? Vacations used to be valued part of the American culture, but in 2015 alone, a combined 55% of Americans left 658 million vacation days unused. Really? My next guest is here to tell us how to make vacations a priority again. Diamond Resort CEO Michael Flasky is with us right now. And Michael, it is good to have you on the program this morning. Well, thank you, Maria. Thanks for having us. Well, you know, one of the great things about your company is it's a different model than the average hotel business out there. This is a timeshare. Yep. Explain how it works. Well, basically, folks decide that instead of renting, they want to own their vacation. And so with us, if they're going to vacation 10 years or so, they can pay us up front and own the accommodations, and then they get a points allotment. And this points allotment gives them the flexibility to travel on a per-day basis and go anywhere in the world, staying in 12 and 1,300 square foot condos versus a small three or 400 square foot hotel. And in the end, they own the product versus renting. Yeah, and my sister does this all the time, I was telling you. That's the only way she vacations. Yeah. You go above and beyond when it comes to customer service in this regard as well. Even placing a note underneath the beds in the room that says, yes, we are clean under here too. Customer service, does that become that much more important when you actually own the vacation, as you put it? Without question. And, you know, our team, we have 8,800 team members across the globe that wake up every day and take care of our guests. And they do it at a level that is unprecedented. And, in fact, uh, you know, when I became the CEO of the company to take it even to the next level, uh, I put my personal business card at every one of our front desks across all of our owned and managed resorts. And so I want to hear from the customer. It's important. How do bookings look right now for the summer and into 2018? Travel is incredibly strong. Our bookings are great. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Now, Diamond Resorts was once publicly traded. Now it's owned by private equity. How did the transition impact the way you do business? How's that transition yeah. going? Well, it was kind of natural for us because we were very acquisitive. We acquired nine different businesses over a period of about six years, and we understood when we bought a company how to go in and get economies of scale. And so we just went on the reverse side of it this time. When private equity bought us, we've really focused on our GNA. You know, we've probably cut $30 million on an annual run rate out of our GNA now that we're owned wow. by Apollo. And we've really ramped up our MA. Um, you know, growth is a huge part of our focus, both organically and through acquisition. And so. the private equity uh, ownership really helps you do that in terms of the acquisitions. Real quick, what's the best destination right now? Oh, I would say Hawaii is on fire. Las Vegas is great. Um, Orlando in the mid-Atlantic. Virginia Beach. This is all great opportunities for timeshare in those, in those destinations. Yeah, they, these are places that our owners love to go and they're there every day enjoying their vacation. Michael, great to have you on the program today. Thanks so much for walking through it with us. Thanks, Maria. We appreciate, appreciate you having it. us. Michael Flasky joining us there.